What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video from Views from the Sideline. And today I'm joined by Akin Range as usual, and we have Mitchell and Shriam on the show today. And we have a little bit more of a fun video today. We are going to be doing an NBA all time draft. So, how it's going to work is it's going to be a snake draft. So, if y'all don't know how that works, so let's say I pick first and Shriam is going to pick last. That means Shriam is going to pick first in the second round and so on and so forth. We're going to have 10 rounds today. So, Technically, you're going to be building a full NBA roster, and we're going to be basing it off of the NBA 75 anniversary team, plus a couple of players that should have made it but didn't make it. So the drafting order is Shriam will have the first pick, we'll have Mitchell, who will have the second pick, I'll have the third pick, and Akron will be last of the first round. So I think we should just start right away, and Shriam, you can do the first pick. The first pick, I think this one's pretty obvious. You can't go with this. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go Michael Jordan. I was actually going to pick Magic, but yeah, I'll, okay, I'll pick him. That's my first pick. Okay, so I think I'm going to go... Let's see. We'll go... We'll take LeBron, because I have I have more... I have plans for other, other positions. We'll, we'll take LeBron. Me, for the third pick of the draft stream, you're probably going to know who I'm going to pick. But I'm picking Kobe Bryant. Uh, Kobe. Honestly, bro, why does everyone Interesting, interesting choice. Interesting choice. Not even for some, for some, with the fourth pick, since you uh, left so many people on the board um, so high, I'm probably going to have to go with Kareem uh, as my fourth pick. You know, amazing resume. Great all-time center. Probably the third greatest player of all time. And uh, yeah. Well, with this pick, I'm going to pick someone who actually played with Kareem. Um, go with Magic. Get that combo in there. Pick magic. All right. Yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty good pick. With my next pick, I'm going to pick uh, an awesome you know, three point shooter. Um, he's on one of the greatest franchises of all time. Um, we're gonna go with Larry Bird. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I am going to go with the most dominant player in NBA history, arguably. The big Aristotle, Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> All right, that's respectable. Uh, I'm gonna go with the better center than who Mitchell said. Uh, I'm gonna go with Ricky. <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you, he's better. He's so that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So with that being said, Shreddy got the first pick of the third round. Okay, I'll go with Tim Duncan as my power speed. Uh, interesting, interesting. That's very interesting. And so far, we've picked a pair of forwards. We're gonna go with um, let's need, let's take somebody with unlimited range. I'm gonna take Stephen Curry off the board. Oh no, I really want. That. Yeah, I, I, I kind of wanted to pick Curry next. That was gonna be my next pick. Yeah, same. I think I need a big man right now. Um, so with that being said, I'm gonna go with the most winningest player in <laughs> NBA history. I'm gonna go with Bill Russell. Okay. All right. Here's the thing. I have two guys. I have two great, great players, but, but I need some shooting. I need some spacing. So you know who I'm going to pick? I'm going to go at small forward. I'm going to take Kevin Durant. Early hmm. off the board. Yeah, that's an early pick. I am going to take... This is difficult because I really don't want to put another center on my team. There's just so many great centers. At power forward, I'm going to take Dirk Nowitzki. Ooh. Yeah, that's a pretty good pick. I loved her. <laughs> but um, I'm thinking of doing like an all big type team, or I might put this guy on the bench. But I'm gonna go with another center who's a legend. We're gonna go with Wilt Chamberlain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably didn't go like a little bit earlier, in all honesty. But I'm gonna go with someone who I feel like gets pretty underappreciated. Um. He made a pretty uh, pretty good cameo in a movie with Adam Sandler. We're going to go Kevin Garnett. Hmm, that's a good pick. Good pick. I thought you were about to say Bo Cruz. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, that, that was a good movie. That was a good movie. Though. That was, that was a yeah. great movie. And now, Bo Cru yeah. and now Bo Cruz is in Toronto, so we're... Yeah. Like, I think I get some like good playmaking. Um, obviously, assists, all-time assist leader, so I'm going to go with John Stockton. 
Yeah, that's a pretty oh, good pick. Then I, have a, then I have another pick, I guess. Um, small forward? Uh, a lot of great players. A lot of great players. Yeah, I know, but I, I always, like, blank. I'm not even, like, looking at the list that much. Like, is Kawhi part of the all-time 75? Like, I don't know if I put him on my starting line, but I just want to know if he's on the all-time 75. I'm he pretty is. sure he is. Yeah. Uh... Is it or he is? Yeah, yeah, he, he, is, he is. He is. Yeah, he be. is. He is. If he is, then he should be. Yeah, okay, he is. Uh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, I'll go with Kawhi. Okay, cool. That's early. I feel like that's really early. That that yeah, is I early know. Early. I know it's really early. like right. I feel like there's so many better small forwards I could have won for, but like he's just on my mind. Like I don't might mean pushing Stephen Curry to shooting guard, but I want Isaiah Thomas. Ooh, interesting. Mm. Interesting. Okay, wait, wait. Right. Before, before the next pick, I just have a very big question. Uh, who is Bill Sharman? <laughs> I need to know. Oh, there, there are a few is he, guys. Is he, is he, is he on, yeah. He's on the all NBA. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, honest, I'm probably going to take one of the best three point shooters in NBA history. I'm going to take Reggie Miller as my point guard. Oh my God. I literally wanted Reggie Miller here. <laughs> <laughs> no, Reggie, Man, Reggie like Miller. Sam Jones is still on the table. You think Sam Jones? No, 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 I, I know who I got, I know who I got. Sam so, Jones, bro. <laughs> so, cause I'm gonna pick Clyde Drexler. To fill that spot. Clyde and Clyde. Alright, I, I, my team is like, is doing pretty well right now. I'm going down my bench, so... I am going to go with... It's hard, actually. At power forward, I'm gonna go with Giannis. Yeah, that's a good pick. All right, so we replaced him in the starting lineup with um, one of the guys who's on the all-time list, obviously, but he didn't win a championship. Charles Barkley. Mm. Rock. Oh, was he good? I think we're gonna go with we're gonna go with Dwayne Wade. Ooh, you know, I feel like Dwayne Wade's one of the most underrated players like, on that list. Like, yeah, I agree. Julius Serving or Hito Turkoglu, so I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go with Julius Serving. Uh, my my Julius Julius Irving and who? Hito uh, Turkoglu. Is he on the team? No. <laughs> I feel like I could like, even though maybe John Stockton's like still better. I feel like I could have John Stockton or Steve Nash, and I like feel pretty happy about it. So I'm gonna take Steve Nash. All right. So Mitch, you got the next. Take. Say it's another one that gets a little bit underappreciated. We are gonna go with blanking on his name right now. Forgive me. I almost called him by the wrong name. I'm trying to find him on this list right here. David Robinson. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was just looking I, at him. I'm to go with Rick Barry. Or, yeah, Rick Barry. And just because I want I want shooting, since a lot of these guys are playing, you know, only when the three point line just kind of started to come into the league, if and like, wasn't it, or if not before it was used. I'm going to take Damian Lillard because I think having someone with three point shooting just gives you such a big edge against like the older players who are playing back to the basket and really close without spacing. And then my next pick, since I have a point guard power forward, I'm going to take at, I'm going to have him play sh like, I'm going to actually switch. I'm going to play Lillard at shooting guard and I'm going to pick Jason Kidd for point guard um, on my bench. Dang it. <laughs> I'm probably going to go with um, one of the best defenders in NBA history for his position. We're going to take Gary Payton. Okay. I'm going to go with a bit of a high flyer, a guy who is um, pretty popular in terms of dunking. I'm going to go with Dominique Wilkins. A good pick too. I, I, I mean, I feel like you can't really go wrong with any picks here. Like every pick yeah. is going to be good. We're picking from some of the best of all time. <laughs> it's just going to be. What's really going to be interesting is just comparing all the lineups back, like you know, next to each other. 
Yeah. Exactly. It's thinking about who would work well together. Yeah. That's why I'm trying to. I'm honestly, I'm not trying yeah, to draft the best thing. player. Like you don't, you don't need to draft the best player. You draft the player that is gonna fit. Yes. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, actually, I could go with Moses Malone. Actually, like highly underrated. I think he won like three MVPs to force in three years at least two. Oh, no, yeah, that was a crazy stat. Yeah, he had multiple MVPs. So I didn't even. Yeah, he was crazy in the early '80s and like late '70s. Crazy. Um, I think he even won a title with them. Actually, I think he. I think it wasn't Dr. J who was final MVP. Yeah, I think it was him. I don't really remember. But I'll go with Colin Malone um, for power forward. Yeah, unlucky, he never won a title. He almost got one with the Lakers, I guess. Bruh. Which was before, but they got destroyed by the Pistons. He never got one. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Has no one taken Allen Iverson? Nobody's taken No. Him. Damn, I was going to take Allen Iverson. And actually, <laughs> I didn't want to take him. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, I don't want to lie. Yeah, is... I feel like he's, like too, he's too ball dominant. That is fair. That is fair. Although I feel like it'd be it's he's hard to ignore if he's just sitting there. Alright. So do you pick Alan Iverson? Yes. Alright. So that leaves me with my pick. Um so if I'm looking at my roster right now, I got some you know, I got a lot of bigs. I got you know Gary Payton and Reggie Miller, who are my guards. But um, to be honest, I probably need um, I probably need another facilitator in a way. Um, but also, I'm thinking I need more of a better defender. So I think as a more of like a surprise pick, not even a surprise pick, but I think I'm going to go with. I think I'm surprised he hasn't been picked yet. I'm going to go with um, George Jervin. George Jervin, okay, nice man. I don't know why I remember that. Yeah, he was good. Wait, who do you play for the Spurs, right? Yeah. Spurs, Thank you. Way back when. Okay, for me. Now, to round out my bench with the final two picks. It's hard. But I think I'm going to... I have a power forward and a center open. And, I mean, sorry, small forward. And for my small forward, I'm going to go with Paul Pierce. All right. I feel like, oh, no, 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 actually, can I take that back? Can I take that back? No, no I'm kidding. Yeah, you can. <laughs> no, uh, no <laughs> like, I really... <laughs> no, I'm kidding, you can take it back. I was literally scrolling down. And you I can take it back, back. You, you can take it back. I'll keep, I'll, I'll keep him, I'll keep him, it's fine, I dropped uh, it. But I was literally, uh, I was scrolling down, okay. and I saw, the next, I saw the next name, I was like, why did I pick Paul Pierce? Anyway, Paul Pierce, great guy. And for my final center, I am gonna go. Hmm. This is hard. I'm gonna go Elvin Hayes. Elvin Hayes. Even though he didn't play something. Or I don't think. I, he I even forgot he existed. But Elvin Hayes. Play, Elvin Hayes plays small forward, but I'm gonna push who, Giannis. Who has LeBron? Who has LeBron? Someone has LeBron. Well, Mitchell has LeBron. Mitchell has LeBron. Yeah. All right, so for me personally, I Automatic need <laughs> I need a backup power forward and a center. So I so you know technically I need two bigs right now. Um, and honestly, I'm trying to think of not guys that are on the 75 list, but guys that got snubbed from the 75 list. Uh, um, I'm going to go with Elgin Baylor as my backup power forward. We need a little bit of color here, so we're gonna pick Dennis Rodman. Ooh, that's an interesting one, but I think that's a good pick. I'm just gonna go with like Clay Thompson. Um, he, well, he wasn't on it, but he should have been. So I'll go with Clay so, Thompson. So, so you got, so you're gonna add him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you okay. said over here also. You said people deserve it. So he deserves it. Yeah, he definitely does deserve it. Um. So I think that does round out everybody's NBA 75 team. Plus, we're going to vote for who we think has the best roster other than ourselves, obviously, because, if, you know, if, if that was, you know, so we can be a little bit. Sorry. 
Did Harden get picked? No, no. Harden didn't get picked. I could pick him in this year, but he's too ball bomb. I wanted to pick Scotty Pippen instead of um. Yeah, same here. No. I, I instead of instead of Paul Pierce, but I just forgot about Scotty completely. Um, I'll start with my team. So for my starting lineup, I have Reggie Miller at my point guard, uh, Kobe Bryant at the two, Larry Bird at the three, Charles Barkley at the uh, four, and um, Bill Russell at the five. Then for my backups, I have Gary Payton as my backup point guard, Rick Barry as my backup shooting guard, George Jervin as my backup small forward, Elgin Baylor at my ba backup power forward, and then a Moat Chamberlain at my backup center. John Stockton, well, starting lineup, John Stockton, point guard, Michael Jordan, shooting guard, uh, Tim Duncan, power forward, Billy Servin, small forward, and Hakeem as a center. And then my backups are Steve Nash, point guard, Clay Thompson, shooting guard, uh, Carl Malone, power forward, Kawhi, small forward, and Moses Malone, center. Garby got Steph Curry. Shoot, I've moved D Wade into the starting shooting guard spot. We've got LeBron, so we've got those uh, that chemistry there. KG starting at the power forward, Shaq at center. And then my bench point guard, I moved uh, Isaiah Thomas. Um, bench shooting guard is going to be AI, small forward Dominique Wilkins. And then power forward, David Robinson. And then Rodman at backup center. Nice, nice. All right, I guess I'll go mine then. Um, so for me, point guard, Magic Johnson. Shooting guard, Clyde Drexler. Small forward, Kevin Durant. Power forward, Dirk Nowitzki. Almost forgot. And then at center, I have Kareem. And for my backups at center, I'm going to have Giannis at power forward. Uh, sorry, I'm blanking now. I literally wrote that. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah. Uh, at small forward, I'm going to have Paul Pierce. At uh, uh, power forward, I'm going to have Elvin Hayes. At point guard, I'm going to have... Wait, I can't remember, I can't remember who I think. Jason Kidd? <laughs> Jason Kidd, and then at uh, shooting guard, Damian Lillard. Alright, alright. Um, so, the other person besides me who I would vote for is... I, I would give it to Mitch. Because I think his team is very gritty on defense, as he said, grabs a lot of rebounds. And I think the way that he selected the team was was good for fitting everybody together. Like, the team kind of has an identity together, and they're going to play to that. Um, which I think is much more important than just, you know, assembling, you know, five players that are considered to have extremely great resumes or the best of the time. I think I'm going to give mine to... <laughs> we'll give it to Ak. We'll give my vote to Ak. I like his I, li I like his mix of old and new, and I feel like they're both of the eras that he was able to. He encapsulated a lot of different eras, and I think they comp they're going to complement each other well. I feel like he's he covered a lot of bases in terms of uh, strengths, and yeah, no, that's pretty much. I feel like it's very it's very well rounded, and I feel like he covers he covered pretty much everything that he wanted. Uh, but honestly, I think like Mitchell had the best team. Um, like I can't really, I didn't even, I didn't even write that. Oh, look at Dan texting me, vote for me. No, no. Uh, I think Mitchell had the best team. Um, I don't really remember all the players now, but just when like you were, when, you were list, when you were listing them off, I felt like um, those players. Steph and LeBron is all you need to know. Steph, LeBron, yeah, LeBron, is LeBron, <clears throat> LeBron, one more title. I think he's the go. In my opinion, so that's all I need. Just like one more LeBron title, and then obviously he'll get the scoring title. I think, I think LeBron is to go. Uh, all right, so for me, um, when I looked at this person's team, I thought it was super well-rounded. And honestly, he just, I mean, every single team had a bunch of good players, but I thought this guy had a lot of really cool duos and trios that were really special. And honestly, he did think of like chemistry between the people, the, like the guys that they had in, in real life. So with that being said, I'm gonna vote for Mitchell. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> therefore, Akerage loses, um, and Mitchell wins. Um, the overall, loser. <laughs> I'm the first loser. Yeah. No, so. Honestly, oh, also, I think I said Mitchell. I think because Steph Curry and LeBron combination, I think that's what made yeah, that's that's deadly. 
Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. why I remember. Like I remember that's the reason why I wanted to go for him because he had Steph and LeBron, and I think that that like sold it for me. Um, that's like that's like a dead like that like that team is probably beating all the other teams in my opinion. So yeah, definitely. Guess, yeah. So, so with that, that being that's said, why. yeah. So Mitchell wins our first ever NBA All Time Draft. Um, so we'll definitely do a few of these in the future with probably more people or different people. Um, and make sure to subscribe to the views from the sideline. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to comment down below. Um, and with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video.